hello i haven't really been reading a whole lot and i feel like i've been saying that in like every single video i've been posting but it really is true i feel like i've been reading a lot in the beginning of the month and then when it gets to the end of the month i'm really tired of reading right now i'm actually reading two books the first book that I'm reading is The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. This is, I think, a little bit more of like an inspiring, kind of thinky piece type of book. It is nonfiction. I've been slowly reading this. I want to kind of maybe read like a chapter or two a day. I like kind of DNF'd the last two books that I've read. Not really DNF'd. I've gotten to like the last 50 pages of the books and then I just skimmed through it just to finish the book because I've like not cared about the book. I went and bought Rebecca, which is the book that Taylor Swift was inspired to write the song Tolerate It about, and I really want to read that. So we are going to do just a little like mini book haul of some books that I recently got. I went to Barnes & Noble on Saturday with my sister. We went wedding dress shopping, and then we ended up going to Barnes after because I am in a romance era right now. I don't know what it is. I got a ton of books, and I wanted to talk about them. My camera is right now uneven. Sorry about that. Starting with the book that I'm reading right now. I am reading Heartbreak for Hire by Sonia Hartle. Also, this isn't a book that I got, but I did buy a bookmark because I am definitely like a, I'll use a receipt, I'll use a hair tie, I'll use anything but bookmarks. So I do need to start actually getting bookmarks because I like don't have any. So I got this hot sauce bookmark. This book is about our main character who works for pretty much like a firm that women can hire these other women. Basically they seek out men that they want revenge on. The male main character is someone who she had to seek out revenge on but then he ends up getting hired by the same firm. Right now I'm about halfway through, not halfway, I'm about like a third through the book. The conflict just started so I'm interested to see where this goes and then I got this book which I'm so excited about. This is The Book of Eve by Carmen Belosa. Belosa, I'm so sorry. This is basically the book of Adam and Eve or the story of Adam and Eve told from Eve's perspective. From my understanding, a very poetic feminist forward book and I'm really excited to read this. It looks like it's like pretty decently short chapters. If I'm in the mood to, I might read this book after this one. And then I got one day this i know nothing about i know that it is a netflix show or a movie and that it's supposed to be very sad i've seen a few tiktok edits of the show but it just it intrigues me and i really like this cover i think it's really beautiful so it, it was a super floppy book as well i will say the font is really small there's a lot of text on every page so i'm not looking forward to that and then the last book that i got is it happened one fight by maureen lee lenker i bought this because a I think this cover is absolutely beautiful. There's actually an Emily Henry quote on the front, which I thought was really cool. This is about two movie stars. They end up married due to some sort of prank that happens. And I believe it's like in the 80s, the 90s. And I'm very excited. I feel like this might kind of remind me of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, that sort of Hollywood-esque star vibe, but more of a romance instead of a women's literary fiction. So I am also very excited to read this. That was my little book haul. Spent way too much money at Barnes the other day. Right now, I'm actually reading The Retreat by Sarah Pierce. This is the author of The Sanitarium, Sanatorium, and I actually believe this is technically the second book in that little like detective series. You can technically read this book without reading The Sanatorium. I'm doing that. I've not read that book, but there is a spoiler in this book for something that happens in that book. Just fair warning, if you want to read this book, you might have stuff spoiled for that book. I actually ended up downloading it on my Kindle through my library. So I've been kind of going back and forth between reading it on my Kindle and then reading it physically. I'm trying to do anything to get out of a reading slump and the feeling of holding a book right now is not it. Yeah, I'm gonna read a little bit. My sister, her fiance, and I are gonna go get some Froyo in a little bit just cause I've had a really bad week and I needed something to look forward to. I'm gonna read a little bit until we leave. And then, I don't know, I'll give you an update. I'm about four. 42% through the book and I don't feel super connected to it right now. If I were to rate the book, I'd probably right now give it like a 2.5, maybe a 2 out of 5, which is a pretty standard rating for how I've been feeling about books lately. We're going to try and read this together and hopefully I'll get out of this slump. Hopefully soon. I'm like actually losing my mind. This isn't fun.
Hello, little update. It is now Saturday, March 30th, and I did film while I was out yesterday. That's what you just watched. I did not talk at all, but I did end up finishing the retreat. I dropped off clothes at Plato's Closet, and I was just kind of hanging out until I could pick up like the clothes that they didn't buy, and they took forever. I sat at the Barnes & Noble Cafe and read for like an hour, and then I moved to Caribou because I was tired and wanted coffee. I was in there for like an hour and a half. I finished the retreat. Pretty decent. I would give it like a three out of five. I really liked the ending of the book. It just didn't really stick with me. I don't think I'm really out of my reading slump. And then yesterday, I actually ended up buying this while I was in Barnes & Noble. And this is by Natalie Haynes. It's Divine Might, Goddesses in Greek Myths. This book is retelling the women in Greek mythology, their stories. I just got done reading about the muses and now I'm on Hera or Era. I don't know if the H is silent. I love Greek mythology. She also is the author of Pandora's Jar and that was another book that I really wanted to read but I wasn't really in my sort of fiction, literary fiction era. But I think this is the type of books that I want to be reading right now. I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna read for a bit today but before I do that I actually have to edit a different video. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you when I start reading this. I might also start filming a different video in between me filming this sort of book slump reading vlog. We might be reading this as well as a different book. I'm also, I don't know if I've talked about this in this video yet, but I'm also reading The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. I've been slowly reading this. I haven't read it in a few days, so I might read a couple chapters out of this today. But these are the two books that I'm reading right now. And yeah, I'm gonna start editing, editing a video and I will see you guys when we're diving back into these books. I'm so cold. <laughs> I just took Miss Stella for her walk and it started raining on us halfway through. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing a leather jacket while I'm in my apartment, that is why. It's been a few days. I don't think I filmed anything yesterday and I thought I would give you a little bit of an update into my reading, how I'm feeling, if I still feel like I'm in a slump, everything like that. I think when I was talking about this book earlier, I just said that it was nonfiction. This is technically a historical book. I'm about halfway through this. I'm right now on the chapter about Demeter and that is what I'm saving to read tomorrow while I'm at work. And then while I was at work today, I actually started the audiobook for Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And now this has never been a book that's been on my radar. If you are unfamiliar, the book is about Carrie Soto who is back. Ooh, who'd have thought? She is a tennis star who broke a world championship and that record is about to be beaten by a younger tennis star so she decides to come out of retirement to basically prove that she is still the GOAT of tennis. Now, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my YouTube channel. I don't think I have, but I actually grew up playing tennis. I was a kid who would spend my summers, well, I spent two or three summers at like a tennis camp where we would sleep in the dorms, wake up, we would eat, breathe, sleep, tennis. Tennis was like my sport growing up, but I ended up quitting because I got bullied and stuff. It's a long story. Um, So I never thought I was actually going to read this because I have such like negative memories with sports just from growing up. But for some reason, when I was in Barnes the other day, they just came out with the paperback and I picked it up and I was reading it and I was like, you know, this kind of feels like the perfect book to read right now. Like I really want to read this. Instead of me buying the book, I just decided let me use my Spotify audiobook hours and listen to it. And I'm liking it so far. I am right now, let's look at how far into the book I am. I listened to quite a bit while I was at work. I have six hours and 54 minutes left of the audiobook and I am on, I don't know what the chapter number is, but I'm on January 1995. Melbourne, 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 Mel Melbourne. My camera just stopped recording because I ran out of space, but I am at that part of the book and I'm enjoying it so much. I was having such a good time listening to it. I definitely see a lot of myself in her when in the beginning of the book, you're kind of getting flashbacks of the start of her career. And I related to a lot of the things. Obviously I grew up playing tennis, so I related on, you know, just being an athlete and pushing yourself and never thinking that you're good enough and all of these things. But then also, 
in the book, her dad is her coach. Some of the things that the dad said to her as the coach, it reminded me of my coach that I used to have when I was in tennis. It's just been really nice. I'm now 22, I'm gonna be 23 in a month. Oh my God, that is so, so upsetting to say out loud. 23 is such a big age, but it's really nice with getting older to enjoy things that I enjoyed when I was younger again. And for, I don't know, like the negative memories with it to not bother me. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that audiobook. Mm -hmm.